What's up friends? The recent environment art, weapon and character animation stream was jam-packed with information. I think I pulled out something like 150 updates from it, which is a staggering amount. Still, at almost two and a half hours, it was also super long. Big thanks for the Funpins for pushing forward and giving us all this to chew on. This video is a super condensed version. Look for other videos to go more in depth covering various pieces as there is so much to unpack. Do make sure to wipe that like button free of condensation, making it a nice thumbs up. Doing these videos take a lot of time, but your feedback has been great, so I'm happy to save everyone a few hours a week. To make sure you don't miss any videos, subscribe and ring the notification bell. So the next week's stream will be the programmers. They have been updating their block material, but they'll be making more of this in Alpha 21. They showed off the material graph, this new character shader. For instance, you have the green rad material, which looks really awesome. That of course is used for the radiated. Then we have the burnt embers for the burning zombie, for instance. It would be cool if they added that to other ones as well. Hmm. Now you have the entity shader that allows them to create these color variations. You have the foliage shader for the grass and so on and it's a shot of the grass foliage. They have been updating the trees, giving this uh, tree root ball that is actually applied once you've chopping them down. The random world generated stamps looking really good. You have the mesas and lakes, rivers and mountains, which are gonna make the maps look really good. More environment art. You have the new assets of rubble, and bunch of this. You have the concrete ramps which are sort of broken down and of course they showed off the color tint shader for the blocks and assets giving that different colors while still being in the same block. And this also is used for tinting the bedrolls for instance. You have light fixtures in the ceiling, you have new conveyor belts, laundry trolley, new laundromat machines, pedestrian crossings, lights, traffic lights, and so much more for the city. You have the newspaper stuff, you have the car parking, postal, electrical transformers, poles, and then into the slanted doors, which I made a video, could check that out separately, but it is made up of different materials when you craft it. And yes, you can shoot and throw grenades through it. There are updated tables, updated plants, which look really good. You want to decorate your place. Now the safes have gotten an update. All models are made into high poly and new texturing. Fire hydrant, ammo boxes can be tinted, new coffin. They also updated all the mines to have that blinking red light on the top. So they showed off the hubcap mine, air filter, tin can, and of course the cooking pot mine. Those control panel consoles have also had a big update. Of course, a nice toilet, a tub, and shower with gore, and more gore. Street lights, the fuse boxes have been updated into different ones, utility meter as well, with the new piping and conduits. A lot of discussion around the weapons of how they make the high poly and they bake them into the low poly, which is really tedious, apply the textures and everything. You have the big generators, which I believe are going to be used in the power quest. New updates to the bows, so you have the primitive bows, so you have the advanced bows, crossbows, on, and of course the new rocket launcher model, which is looking really good. The revolver is getting an update. We have the desert vulture that is updated. Updated tactical assault rifle, AK-47, hunting rifle, lever action rifle, which is a new gun that we're getting. The M60 has gotten a new look, and of course, the pipe assault rifle. You have the primitive pistol, well, primitive revolver, more like it, pipe rifle, the pipe shotgun, the new HD pistol, HD SMG have gotten a really nice update, and of course, the new rocket launcher again, the iron crossbow, the compound crossbow, the compound bow, the new auger, and the new chainsaw. And here we have a look at the big generator again that is going to be used in some PUIs. We have the small generator. It would be cool if we could use the big generator in our bases as well. Maybe have a lot more output potential so we don't have to have multiple small generators in our base. There were a bunch of animations of using the pipe baton, using the pistol, using the pipe rifle, the pipe machine gun, pipe shotgun. Then of course they redid all of it with sound because they missed that the first time. The new SMG animation, the animation of the hunting rifle, the animated auger, animated chainsaw, 
and they went through how they've now fixed. So in third person, meaning in multiplayer, you'll be able to see which direction on the vertical up and down people were aiming, because previously you couldn't do that. Someone was asking about that gun image and it would look cool as a desktop background. Maybe he's selling it as a mouse pad. As they go through and update the models, they've also been looking at adding and updating the sounds. Performance of the shaders and everything is something that they tried to build more optimal than previous versions when they are touching the old code. Can we shoot through doors? Well, the new slanted double doors, yes, but they are looking at updating the old ones as well. Now, there is no replacement for the sort of two ver 2D version of the Goldenrod plant, for instance, but they are looking better with the new shader. They're all talking about replacing some of the models, converting them to 3D, maybe in the next alpha. But all the foliage is being updated to use the new shader, even though it's only partially right now with the grass and the foliage, they are pushing forward with that. The lever action rifle is a tier two rifle. The possibility of adding in melee to weapons it's more of a design question, but it would need a bunch of code to put in to make that work. On the question on will there be a low gore setting, Leighton said he's not really sure. It's really about how much they want to put in, and there's talk about it. Rick did mention that they will if there is a need for different regions. Coloring for the new asset models is generally pretty gen generic, but they will tune it to depending on what the model is and what makes sense for it. And no, there are no new vehicles at this point. There was a question about new art for the Steam profiles and Rick said yes when they tackled the gold UI. Are there more models that they haven't shown? And yes, there are quite a few new ones that they haven't shown because it would be a really long stream otherwise, as if two and a half hours isn't enough. Lathan highlighted there will be some new vehicle mods, which is a great question for the next stream. And they talked about the updating the food and drink animations and maybe it'll end up being on the list, but not right now. There is a tint system for the zombies being talked about it, whether to do that for the next alpha or whether to go with full texture variation, because there are pros and cons of them, but they are looking at what they're going to do for alpha 21. Block textures are being updated. A lot has been done and for Alpha 21 there will be an even bigger set of it. There are looks of, you know, more technical art system but they haven't had time to redo it all for Alpha 20. But for Alpha 21 they should have the time to update all the block textures so they look even better. Yes, vehicle tints are in the system. Auger and chainsaws being too loud? Noted, but no one is working on that right now. Can you shoot f weapons from a vehicle? Fatal said no shooting from the vehicles. Is the shopping cart being updated? And it's on the list, but it's not going to make it into Alpha 20. Same thing again about the food and drink. It's on the list for future changes, but uh, the first person hand food is going to remain as it is right now. The new armor outfit system is only going to be in on Alpha 21. And of course, someone asked about when is Alpha 20 being released and late then came to the rescue. It's going to be after Alpha 19, but well before Alpha 21. Thank you, Lathan. Rick did, however, say it's coming soon. There was a question of can we make clean windows and new looking doors and not these crappy ones, but there was no real answer. As far as the artist's favorite program, it depends 3D Max, Blender and so on. All the new weapons have unique mods that fit that weapon particular. Footprints on snow, which some games have, it would be cool, but it doesn't work in the current system. But yeah, it would be cool, it's not on the list. Do all zombies have rad skin, meaning they have a radiated version? Most or all should have. Does the world have more dead bodies and gore laying around? Yes. Laser sword? Uh, nice, I don't think so. Will the new tin system work with guns? It will not currently do that. There are talk about porting the existing textures to be able to update them with the new tin shader to have access to this colorations for the new weapons. Some of the weapons might still be using the old tin system, but they are looking at how to mask certain sections so you can sort of have a proper color modification. It's a possibility for Alpha 21, but not confirmed. What about a katana sword for Alpha 20? Lathan said it would be cool, but no, not for 7 days at this time. What about new dynamic lighting and PUI such as flickering? Yes, they have updated the light system, so artists creating the PUIs will be able to have them flashing and so on. The double barrel shotgun remains the same. What about new plans for a new backpack on the player or color schemes? And they highlighted this is something they can't talk about yet. They are working on a lot of things that are cool, but they can't show anything off yet. 
What about a clean version of some of the props, such as a clean toilet, nice microwave oven, etc, etc? Yeah, they could do that. They would have to make a clean texture variation and turn off the additional gory mask and everything. It could be done, but they didn't quite answer whether they will be done. They did confirm they're going to be making vertical double doors in the near future. Any playable instruments? Don't think so. They were asked how much artistic freedom do they have when they make new assets and they have quite a lot of freedom as long as it's believable for the theme they're doing it. And yes, vertical double doors will be put on the task list to get them out soon. Is Jen single and looking? Well, really important question. Apparently she had a recent breakup and she is lonely, she has a new treadmill she will be running on and yes, this was all a joke. Will the new radiated glow be exposed to modders? Yeah, I mean, it's a matter of texture packing now, so if they have access to the texture assets, then yes, they should be able to open up an editor and repack. Someone wanted trampoline, and a lot of talk about Jen. Can we fire through normal doors? You know, the gaps and holes and everything. They're looking at revamping that in the future, so you can do that, but not right now. What about the auto shotgun? Was it added? New mods were added to it, but no real animation change. What about ray tracing? They don't really have any plans to do ray tracing. They have talked about it, but it's so cutting edge that a lot of GPUs might not be able to support it and a lot of people can't find a new GPU anyway. So it would be a lot of time spent on something that really isn't mainstream, but it's definitely they would like to do it down the road. They were questioning us about the new assets and the new wire power system. Laysan highlighted that there's nothing that is really gonna be added to the electricity system. There is a power restore quest, but you know, you're know, going to have to see more about next Wednesday. There are some new boxes you know, with switches going red and green that PUI designers can put into the PUIs when they're creating them and allow you to open doors or activate things. That's something that's going to be available for level designers. The new rubble piles do break apart. Now, it wasn't really clear whether that means they break down and get destroyed or whether they sort of have partial destruction. We'll find out. Regarding the potted plants, can we do a color variation on the actual pot and we can't do it right now but they're looking at changing up so there's a separate material and everything so maybe for the future there are no current plans to make doors pickable and the tints are not for painting on blocks that would require a complete painting overall the weather effects have been updated yes there are better snow and maybe they'll show some next week a lot of the process is really shared between, you know, the artist as the programmer as they do some work, they pass it back and forth, they test it out, get some new code in, create new assets, and then back to the programmer. So a lot of back and forth there. Now they're looking at two more dev streams and then they're going to show playthroughs. And next week, they're going to be programmers with Fatal, Lathan, Steven, etc. In the chat, Roland highlighted that the pipe weapons can be crafted from day one in your backpack. You don't need any schematics. Whew, that was about 150 updates as best as I could cover them. But if you're looking for more in-depth, check out the playlist in the description as I've got a lot more of these for your viewing pleasure. I hope you took the time to like the video and subscribing while at it. See you next time, Survivor. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedit community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.